A very good evening to all. I am Dr. Sandeep and I am the lead for the therapy and portfolio at Alkem Palmo Care. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished ANT physicians and pediatricians, welcome to our highly anticipated webinar. Today, we have gathered here to address a critical concern that lies at the intersection of our specialities. Don't let your child suffer in silence. Discover the root cause of nasal stiffness, mouth breathing and recurrent cough. Is it allergy or something more? As medical professionals dedicated to the well-being of our young patients, we understand the challenges that arise when faced with children expecting chronic nasal stuffiness, mouth breathing and recurrent cough. Where allergies often emerge as a primary diagnosis, it is crucial for us to dive deeper and explore the possibility of the underlying cause that demand our attention. During this enlightening session, we aim to provide a comprehensive understanding of the factors contributing to the symptoms helping us differentiate between allergies and alternative etiologies. Together, we will uncover key signs, potential triggers, and valuable diagnostic approaches to ensure accurate assessment and appropriate treatment plans for our patients. Today in this webinar, we have with us none other than Dr. Tushar, a very respected name in the ENT space in India from Kolkata. Dr. Tushar is currently the director and founder of Ghosh ENT, Foundation with over 23 years of rich clinical experience. He is also the senior consultant ENT of head and neck surgery in Apollo Hospital. If you see, he has performed more than two lakh surgeries and he is a specialist in microscopic, endoscopic and laser surgery with coagulation surgery being the new uh, weapon in his repertoire. He has conducted several surgical workshops and served as key faculty on otology endoscopic surgery and coagulation. He has several publications and he is currently in association with JP Publishers over videos for Atlas on ENT. He has more than 60 presentations in various prestigious ENT conferences and seminars in India and abroad. He is awarded with the prestigious Professor B.K. Roy and Professor S.K. Khabdavis Award for Best Paper in State Journal in 2006. To top, as a cherry on the cake, he has received Bharat Ratna Rajiv Gandhi Gold Medal Award for Outstanding Individual Achievement in Medicine and Research. That says a lot about him. He is also honored with Mother Teresa Gold Medal Award and Doctor of Letters, New Men's Social Work and Contributions in the Field of Health. He is, and last but not the least, he is awarded as Healthcare Pioneer of the East by Times of India Group in 2020. With this short introduction, I would like to welcome Dr. Tushar Ghosh and would like to take the proceedings further, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Elkem. One mistake uh, I have seen. Not 2 lakhs operation, it's 30,000 operation. Okay, sorry, sir. What you know, I think 20 old India, previous by the CB was that uh, 20,000. That's five years back by the I think one zero extra, basically. 2 lakhs uh, in uh, one eight seven. Not yeah, my apologies, sir. Uh, yeah, no, thank you so much. So now, <clears throat> thanks. Basically, uh, I will show today, I will show today not a totally theoretical. This is the Totally practical, uh, practical uh, discussion. Uh, first, I will share, uh, Dr. Sandeep. Hello. Sure, sir. I will share and uh, I will uh, uh, say. First, I will share the slide and then uh, I will discuss. Yes, yes. Sure, sir. First, share now. Yeah, today I will share some very interesting topic, mouth breathing, nasal stuffiness, recurrent cough. This is all are allergic or something else. The, I, I think some, uh, definitely pediatrician is very knowledgeable, all pediatrician, all also good uh, ENT surgeon knowledgeable. I am not uh, so much knowledgeable, but uh, my practical, I will, uh, today I will, uh, I will discuss with my practical experience, very much interesting. So because the... <clears throat> Sometimes I have seen the pediatrician uh, also forget there is a, another uh, specialist there, uh, the ENT specialist. We are ENT specialist. Definitely, 
sometimes some patients should refer to the ENT specialist and, uh, and definitely qualify the ENT specialist because sometimes uh, ENT specialists are also uh, uh, ignorant about this problem. Because the nose means only not only allergic, basically. There is something else who is there. How? How? I will show my example. Lots of example. I am Dr. Tushar Kandigosh. I am the founder director of the Ghosh ENT Foundation. It is a dedicated ENT hospital, 23 beds, and also H2 and 4 OT, dedicated uh, OT is there. Now, I will show some picture. Uh, you will be surprised. These are all treated as an allergy for a long term. And these patients admitted in the uh, pediatric uh, ICU three times at least. You feel the mother, father suffering. This is the picture. Look here. And this all are ignorant up to this age, seven years up to age. All are ignorant about the to search the root cause of this problem. Look here. How much suffering? How much pain? Believe me. Family. Now, just after treatment. What satisfaction I have given to the family, to the kids. But all are treated only the allergy. This is why, basically, because the we are not an enemy of the pediatrician. So pediatrician should refer the uh, definitely or one ENT who is able to diagnose the proper cause. Now, this another I will show. This is the picture. Look here. These are all treated as allergies, all time. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, please, uh, please mention initially. I'm not interested to hurt anybody, basically. No reason uh, uh, don't mind anyway. But this is the uh, basically uh, unaware, ignorant about the fact. I'm not. It's very prejudicial. All are knowledgeable. I'm not so much knowledgeable, basically. Uh, I, I, but uh, my practical experience. Sharing only my practical experience. What is happening? What is happening? The, all, all are taking the nebulous and anti allergy. Uh, sometimes I mention the company's uh, product name, Levo Salvitamol, Udesonide. Okay, this, this is treatment. Why? Basically, if you, you, you right side, look either only I search the root cause and treat treatment done and all will be simply change the life this is the fact a long term sometimes definitely some prediction for otherwise how much how i will uh, treat this patient definitely supports but some some prediction not aware of this fact and syria is very knowledgeable very much a famous prediction also does not believe that there is a ent specialist there uh, they think only allergy all are allergy allergy test and treat the allergy but if obstruction is there, how oh, much you treat? No improvement will be there. This person, two and a half years <coughs> have gone from here. I must put this all <coughs> check here. Uh, and goes to the Bangalore, Onipal, Chennai, <coughs> everywhere. All pedition sees the patient and also pollution will be down also. In case, and look here, the problem. <coughs> suffering. <coughs> Cough, recurrent cough, <clears throat> two and a half years, not a two and a half month. Believe me, and all the testimonies they are there with me also. <coughs> this is the fact. <coughs> Treat, we after treatment, look here, not allergic treatment. There is something else I will show. This is the right <coughs> side here, the right side treatment. Patients, <coughs> <coughs> look here, this <coughs> nebulization, anti allergy, <coughs> allergy, allergy, allergy. Only knows it makes allergy. Why we are specialist ENT surgeon? So only only if allergy, do allergy specialist will be there only. <coughs> this is the fact. This is the fact. Look here. Up to this age, all are suffering. Look. <coughs> this is the all are periodic OS patients. Also, this is the periodic OS patient. Look here. And treated as an inspector stride art. This is a lots of lots of one uh, just a uh, few days before when my uh, friends, uh, prediction friend, put the one uh, this type of video, then group, uh, medicals group. Uh, I told that this is that something is there. I will show, uh, I will I'll tell that 
and a lot of communication specialists at bad condition you should uh, give the attention the iso treatment niso treatment all a lot lots lots of problem but all the problem is very simple if you do endoscopy you will see everything clear simple i show this is the patient now right side hello this is right side look here so right side this is the line look So this, this is look here. Another patient, look here. All are treated as allergy only. Huh? Allergy test, everything. File, motor, thick file. Look, look. suffering. Look here, the suffering. Looks like insulin stridor. Yeah, but still not this age. Not treated. Only gone the at least three four famous pediatrician. They were only nebulization, intraglial corticosteroid, and anti-allergic, and levosalbutamol, budesonide. This is the treatment. But if you treat properly, if you diagnose properly, this is the result. Look here. So this is the fact. This is the all are practical. Look here. Yeah. This, this, this. Look the, look the problem, suffering, yeah. and this is a right side look, life. This is a totally suffering life. Yeah. Sometimes I tell the patients, I if you believe me, I'll give you suffering free life, life changing decision. You should take, and I'll give you the yeah. it is free life. Now this is the fact. This is all a, a practical, not a theoretical. Look here, the cough. Nine months problem. Look. <coughs> These type of patients also look here. Six months. Six months. उठे पड़े घुमोते घुमोते कास्ते थके जाए तो ये तो कास्ते दोस्त पुरुष में पुरी में तो ये एक नंबर की चीज़ है ये रखो दे उठे पड़े जाए तो उठे पड़े पुरे लुक हियर द प्रॉब्लम अच्छा डाली दिस इज़ द किड्स नॉर्मल बेसिकली अब तक नाउ व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम बेसिकली इफ यू सिंपली इफ यू डू द � Because sometimes a diagnosis will be missed. If you see the nasal, it is thick secretion. This patient, this thick secretion coming from the sinus cavity and total obstructed. If you drain, if you obstruct the drain, all time there is a problem will be there. All time musculoskeletal gastra will be there. The so all time this is a thick secretion coming from the nose, the postnasal drip, and all time the cough is there. And also uh, gone the pediatrician, also sometimes pulmonologist and. They have sometimes they have I have seen a lot of patients done by spirometry. Spirometry normal still they have given the levosalbutamol, budesonide, anti-allergic, intranasal corticosteroid without proper diagnosis. Believe me, I am not interested to hurt anybody. This is a fact. I have, every day I have I have seen this type of patient. Look here, mouth breathing in chamber. You now from this day just observe the patient. This type of appearance. These are not a good appearance. These all are mouth breather, basically. All are mouth breather. But if you treat the patient, you will see this type. Oh, these all are nasal stuffiness. But we don't see basically because your mind does not know about this fact. But we we see this is a problem all time. All treated is the look here. All treated as a allergic patient. This is the fact. Same patients, you see, if you treat properly, this will be the treatment. Okay, not allergic treatment. Yeah, this is the fact. So you see, this is the fact. Look, but if anybody sees the patient, oh, the patient suffering too much, too much. I see you, I see you require no. Simple only nasal endoscopy required to diagnose the patient, or sometimes oral cavity examination is required. But we don't believe me. This is a fact. 
practice of one big <laughs> meditation also. Lots of meditation also comment this way. Only allergy. It's all allergy. Your you should suffer this way. And comments is the from lots of meditation. You your kids will be suffer long time this way. But if you treat the patients this way, smooth life and mouth breathing still still is there. Mouth breathing this way habit. Now if you put a line cross that line definitely uh, without fighting. No, we, without collision, then it goes. So, meditation definitely with not fighting with the ENT surgeon. We are colleagues, basically. So, why? Why meditation should not refer, basically, to the ENT surgeon who are able to diagnose properly? Some ENT surgeon also uh, neglect. Okay, uh, just uh, in chamber also uh, suffering. Uh, Internal corticoid standards without diagnosis, basically. Please do diagnosis properly. Why not diagnosis? So diagnose properly. If you diagnose properly, you will see the big mass will be there in the nasal cavity. So in the nasal cavity, huge adenoid will be there. And sometimes we are not interested to diagnose the properly. And if sometimes I have seen also if one ENT surgeon diagnose properly and also some pediatrician will comment or homeopathic will comment. This is the, if you give the anti-allergy, if you take the anti-allergy, all will be vanished. You have seen this vanish. When vanish, some pediatrician also comments after four years will be vanished. Some after eight years will vanish. Sometimes they comment the fact you would record it. No, I will show not vanish. If lymphoid tissue without infection, the clear lymphoid tissue will be there. That will not vanish because the now adult OSA, all adult OSA have the adenoid sometimes and also big tonsil. The so tonsil and nasal. Uh, nasopharynx uh, lymphoid tissue is the same. How is the vanish basically? If lymphoid tissue in the oral cavity will be there, remain long life. Adenoid also will be remain long life. This is the mis This is the misconcept. What forty years back the concept was there, but now it is the concept totally changed basically. Now before the industry is not there, only extra sometimes draw. No, so so all, all misconception totally. So do the nasal endoscopy if suffering by mouth breathing, if recurrent cough. Chest clear, pediatrician, lots of pediatrician I have seen every day. Chest clear? Okay, but still cough is there. Okay, take the anti-allergic and uh, take the uh, nebulization. Ne take the nebulization. Why? Chest clear? Why understand you have given? Spirometry normal, still anti-allergic. With this right? Why? Basically, without diagnosis. Just should not bother also. Should not bother also to refer any ENT surgeon who diagnose properly. Sometimes some petition definitely is very knowledgeable. Done x ray, this is the good enough also. Should not do CT scan also. Why in unnecessary you will uh, you will do the CT scan in case of children? Because the, if adenoid is there, there is definitely collection in the sinus cavity. If you do CT scan, all sinuses will be there. Why unnecessary? Do nasal endoscope properly and you will show everything. If you remove the adenoid, then all sickness will be coming. So not require any sinus opening, believe me. This is my practical every day. Look here. The all adenoid is there and thick secretion is there. If you do CT scan, you will see the uh, cavity, as all secretion in the maxillary cavity. Sinus cavity, any sinus cavity. So if you do CT scan, then the problem started. And fighting, sinusitis, sinusitis. Headache also present sometimes complain the headache also. I have seen the lots of present headache complain because the huge adenoid secretion accumulated. Cough and also nasal stuffiness and secretion in the sinus cavity and the headache. So the concept totally changed. Believe me, some very much knowledgeable pediatrician also, famous pediatrician also, have not any concept this about this problem. And if you clear this, you see the fantastic way of clearance. Nasal stuffiness will be gone. Recurrent cough will be gone. But definitely, maybe there will be. Uh, allergy problem also. So associated allergy also obstruction, but it should correct the obstruction. Definitely tendency sometimes the mosquito tendency, but if a drain is blocked, then mosquito is much more. So you should drain, remove the drain also. Clear the drain first. That's the main criteria. Without knowing anything, without comment, without knowing anything, without proper diagnosis, only mentioning the allergy problem, allergy problem, allergy problem, not diagnosis properly. Look here. If you remove the adenoid, all secretion collected from the in the sinus cavity, all will be drained automatically. So this is the totally one concept, not clear. If you are knowledgeable, 
it does not mean that you you are you know everything ent surgeon definitely knows nasal cavity better than any pediatrician also because the, we are dealing every day this only so so definitely mentioning without commenting the only allergy problem you should know about the fact proper diagnosis should done at this don't if i if i comments if i emotional please forgive me i am not interested about heart this every day i am suffering basically lots of lots of kids look here this kids up to this this years up to at least seven years and tension also problem mouth breather also did been only allergy this is the fact look here change after only adenoidectomy same day same day picture now the concept this is the only sometimes we say in children also not does not complain the snoring is there disturb sleep also the we say in like not adult the snoring will be there also in children also this disturb sleep this is the we say also if you do polysomnography but don't require polysomnography also in case of children because the, if only do endoscopy if you see the obstruction if you examine the oral cavity if you see a big tonsil that is sufficient because that because the adult there is a dynamic and static component in in children only static component is the main except some cases some congenital anomaly some syndrome some uh, cerebral problem that is a different way still in down syndrome also you should correct because the, i have done down syndromes maybe also there is lots of change but down syndrome means okay fine mouth breathing also there is nasal obstruction will be there but without that see this is my all our experience not theoretical discussion snort it symptoms there is snoring this definitely maybe snoring position of breathing restless sleep snorting coughing choking mouth breathing bed wetting sleep terror opposite uh, lying down this all our problem still we ignore only treat as a allergy patient an effect what is the effect of this problem poor performance in school difficult in paying attention because the oem obstructive uh, oem oem otitis with the vision will be there learning only some patients automatically come to oh, why because the ear problem started before ear problem all suffering in there difficult in paying attention learning give a problem poor growth hyperactivity all unlike adults no this is the another now what is the cause of this problem mainly adenoid is the main cause you should you should see the tonsil by tongue depression not a ah, a ah, c no you will not see clearly the tonsil tonsil touching or not we are not interested to do tonsil but nowadays infection because the good antibiotic is there but obstruction if obstruction i will show in england also manchester also i have done tonsil to adenoid to me in two years of kit if really obstruction life totally well being will be hampered if huge adenoid will be there why unnecessary you treat only as a allergy diagnose properly please obesity obesity if sometimes some doctors comment you should reduce the fat uh, adenoid will be vanish automatically no vanish so uh, if thin 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 uh, kids no adenoid is there so why this type of comment no patients also See, so come and ah, oh, my my kids uh, are fat, so the problem. So you should uh, take the only anti-allergic treatment. Okay, allergic treatment. This is a totally wrong. The normal anatomy it obstructed anatomy. Pain it is not tonsil. Lots of ENT surgeon only target the tonsil. Only target. Believe me, only adenoid is the main culprit because the because the obstruction in the nasopharynx, not directly in the tonsil uh, why in tonsil why if like in the middle position uh, tonsil grade 3 tonsil grade 4 tonsil touching kissing tonsil touching then creates the problem other is the adenoid is the main culprit this is we are ignorant about this now diagnosis the diagnosis the nasal endoscopy not the x ray x ray that is the reference why the difference if nasal endoscopy you will see the issue to issue to block or not collection secretion coming from the nasal uh, uh, sinus cavity uh, is there or not and touching the palate during uh, sleep touching the palate or not during swallowing so this is the that diagnosis nasal endoscopy but we ignore 
we are uh, we are preparing the X-ray. But the X-ray, I will show lots of X-ray. It's totally ogas. Basically, sometimes good exposure, not good exposure. So all are misdiagnosis. The nasal endoscopy is the correct diagnosis. If you do endoscopy, one year possible, kids possible, two years also kids possible. Except in outdoor, not under general anesthesia. Only simply outdoor. Take this way, head, fix the head and put the endoscopy. Flexible endoscope or fixed rigid endoscope, periodic endoscope required. Only you will see the clearly picture. In our institute, we are regularly doing a rigid or flexible nasal endoscopy, along with clinical exhaustion, oral cavity and throat to confirm the primary obstruction causes in children. I have seen two days nowadays polysomography started. So why is that benefit in case of four years of age? Polysomography. This is the now in the market, polysomography in case of children. Hi, if you see, I have seen also polysomography after that, CPAP also eight years quit. I have done surgery and patients totally uh, now okay. Polysomography. Actually, if you see there at night. 88 saturation, uh, uh, saturation, what is the extra benefit? You know? If your kids is obstructed, so saturation down or not, treatment model, modality will be the same. So, this all are a wrong concept. Right? All polysomography, oxymetry, also wrong. Basically, only diagnosis is the nasal endoscopy. When no endoscopy report is the fine, no obstruction, definitely use, you focus in the different, different part. But two first nasal endoscopy, they are odd. Simply, look here, head. Simply, you will see the correct diagnosis. Obstruction is there or not. Now, in Manchester also, we are not interested only at in to me. Manchester ENT, the England, uh, the tonsil to say two years of case, seven months bark. But still was the failure case. Because the why failure? I will show another discussion also. Failure. Because the, after that, again started the allergy treatment. Because the done, torture and still patient not relief, then started allergy treatment without knowing anything. Because the without under vision have done adenoidectomy, curator's method, so failure. So after that, again, huge adenoid and started obstruction. And then patients uh, and doctors tried again the allergy treatment, again the same allergy. Now patients come to the England from England to here because the two years of kid, huge adenoid is there. Convince the patient. After that patients, I have done the surgery and I will show that. Look here, here, the adenoid is there or not? Huge adenoid is there. But sometimes diagnosis is not possible doing the X-ray. Thick secretion cough is there. It's possible to diagnose X-ray by X-ray? No. But if you do endoscopy, he was huge secretion, post nasal grief, that is possible, possible also with the diagnosis. So all allergy only. This is the obstruction. The cough started. Cough, post angel grief, and cough started. That's sometimes pneumonia, definitely pneumonia. Because why pneumonia also? That's coming from the from nasal cavity, sinus cavity infection started here. So if you see the no chest infection, no chest problem, why unnecessary you are giving this anti-allergic treatment? Just leave it and refer to the one good ENT session or good diagnose properly. Definitely many medical management. I am not uh, concerned the only, only, only adenoid is there. No, definitely I will show the only not allergy, only not adenoid. There is a different problem with there. Medical management, definitely internal corticosteroid, Montelicosodium, antihistamine. Antibiotics should be preserved if preserved because the if, if infection, definitely antibiotic is there. If infected adenoid is there, definitely if you give the antibiotic, definitely it will reduce. But normal lymphoid tissue, if you give the internal corticosteroid, Montelica sodium, any moment as well, does not reduce. Because I will show proof. I will show. Now, other mortality, but this is not possible in case of children, but still some doctors apply this also. We are the adenoids. Fine. We are doing adenoid surgery every day. A lot of ENT does not still believe that patient party looking. And pretty doctor fighting. Homeopathy, GP, chest, all are fighting against the surgery. Why we are the culprit? We are the enemy of the uh, society. We are doing correct diagnosis. We are doing job, our job basically. And all kids basically totally happy. After two years of treatment, anti allergic intelligent corticosteroid, look here, he was at the turn after the surgery. Spirometry normal, still, doctor prescribes and also. Spirometry also as normal, still, it was with the anti-allergic, only treatment, no referent. 
one year diagnosis, fast diagnosis, one year also, because we know problem. Two years after treatment, still adenoid is there. Four years, not done surgery, postnatal drip, and 13 years, that case, done surgery. Why unnecessary suffering? Because the pediatrician told no, uh, patients will be, your patients will be absolutely normal after 12 years. So now waiting here, look here, this way, seven, same patients after four years, five years after taking the treatment and TLH, only at TLH, then look at 32 years of age, huge adenoid, 36 years, huge adenoid, still, so this is a totally wrong concept, adenoid will be vanished, diagnosed properly, if huge adenoid, definitely will not vanish, if small adenoid, we don't bother, I will show the small adenoid, normally we see the normally mouth breathing, still we have seen uh, the small adenoid is there, should not do, because the result will be not there. So, patient's party will be not happy. So, proper diagnosis, 41 years, 55 years of adenoid. Okay, if you do 55 years and uh, also prove, prove that this is the adenoid tissue, it's got hyperplasia. Look here now, in Bengali, sorry, this is the language. Now the testimony. Six years of age. Last one year suffering. Nasal obstruction, cough, recurrent cough fever. Now, unable to eat. Two and half years, half hours later. Three good pediatrician. Famous pediatrician also. Does not believe. Oh, like the allergy. This is the this is the problem basically. And look here the result. So all or this is the result. Look here. So in a, unable to eat because of why? If you take if you if you breathe. Through nose, if you go through mouth and take the food, how how it be possible to take uh, to take food good quality? So previous before adenoid surgery, two and a half hours. Now after adenoid surgery, only fifteen minutes. And because the obstruction is there previously, now thirty-two years treatment with allergy only. Look, our name ki madam? Bebolila Dash. Our ki kosto hai? So all are allergy, 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 allergy. And look here, look here. 32 years of age, only treated allergy only. <laughs> Believe me, the title is the something else because the 32 years treatment with allergy don't want. That's not a name. Any not one. Is C U C C. Acha, tomar naam. Good. Acha, madam, abna thei obi kotha bolun to. Je bacha kano bhug do ki bhug do. Bengali language, but it is an all time told allergy problem. I said, All right, Amra Tajuno, we doctor Kedakan or Port Take, Niama the Jaja, too much medicine subscribe, put to Shaguli Amra Okaditan, Jerapor, Eta allergy Hadache, Eta Okashadazi, one of my occasion. That's a bar, they go on air or say, Rudro, Amra the Amaraka Shabna Island. আমরা বললাম একটা এন্ডোস্কোপি করে দেখব ও আদো কাশিটা কেন হচ্ছে দেখুন এখানে বড় অ্যাডিনয়েড গ্ল্যান্ড সেখানে কব গুণ গলা যেতে কষ্ট আচ্ছা এবার আমরা আজকে এক মাস হয়ে গেল এক মাস হওয়ার পর আপনি আপনারা এই অপারেশনটা করেছেন এবং সেমটাতে বাড়ি চলে গেছেন এটা অ্যাডিনয়েড সার্জারি করেছি এন্ডোস্কোপ থেকে রেকর্ড করে এবং আপনারা অপারেশন डेफिनेटলি করে খুশি এবং no cord, same thing normal. Yeah, no Buddha cord. No, 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 Suffering lots. All the others. Only seven days we have done the Something changed. 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 Something changed.
मेडिकल फिल्ड so only no uh, knows uh, why we are uh, practicing basically all the allergy will be there all the allergy treatment will be there look here the all the secretion coming from the sinus cavity if you collect the secretion it have a huge adenoid will be there look here and after adenoid surgery you will see the all secretion coming from the sinus cavity the nasal endoscope is the diagnosis of choice so do wrong concept about fat look here acha hamara bachcha naam ki चले जाए डायगनोस only my experience i have 60 years of age lots of experience no sometimes one scientific one year experience if he has a scientific treatment he has a concept so one year sometimes is the definitely uh, concept is clear than is 40 60 years experience much more basically this is should be scientific scientific so you if you have a one year experience but with scientific knowledge definitely this is the much more beneficial to the society than 60 years of wrong concept the surgical management is the adenoidectomy fast diagnosis and treatment surgical adenoidectomy tonsillectomy terminal plasty septoplasty in any age septo is possible not is this is also wrong concept after 18 years will be suffering suffering and after 18 years will the cervix of salping open fold also in case of teenage i am not interested to Uh, show the surgery basically because the this is the discussion about the allergy and how the treatment something else the treatment slight bit of i will show slight bit because the premium is true concept about the recurrence some some dentist suggest claim low chance of recurrence if under without vision uh, without vision i will do the adenoid curettage i will do the interested to root on select this is also wrong concept about recurrence this is the premium institute of india basically from south this is the recurrence after that again oem started what is going to the fashion this is a premium issue from premium issue recurrence if you if you do cuter as mother without seeing definitely there is a chance of recurrence manchester ent i have shown this is a recurrence england also recurrence look here that fellow that manchester two days uh, two years of age same day same day life after two years only this is the coblesen 2 i am interested to show how the patients Will be improved nowadays with same day because the nowadays one instrument the coblesen bloodless totally bloodless painless technology without any bleeding same day within 15 minutes 20 minutes and our surgery will be done and same day patient will be discharged and hundred percent without recurrence hundred percent no chance of recurrence no bleeding because the and also the suction tube opening will be there clearly seen so there is a no chance of recurrence believe me. and the proper diagnosis uh, just um, just i will show how how this anesthesia diagnosis and without any and also within 3 hours 3 hours 4 hours after discharge life totally will be changed for that so this is the fact sometimes this is a wrong concept also some uh, bleeding and this is the right without bleeding also one year one month follow up five years follow up also you may do under vision also microdebrer note note uh, instrument uh, preference also but you should do this way uh, properly do without any recurrence you should otherwise patient's part again will suffer
this is the look here it should do opening beautifully so 100% after 5 years follow up also it's a tool it's a cannot be substitute of surgeon skill and technique and knowledge basically so admission discharge also tonsil sometimes Bolo. number also, one soft only nobody go you see the voice and uh, sometimes the claim the voice problem will be there no look here without any any bleeding the tonsil is same same day it's only be discharge the adenoid tonsil is one sort and you totally so namki and obstruction free life same day discharge bolo so only, they are treated all of only allergy basically main advantage no chance of recurrence and reaction of hemorrhage also now this is the one just video i am showing yeah. look here this is the this is the picture look here the fiber intracapsular tonsillectomy like, beautifully it will be done with this instrument and fantastically same the discharge without any bleeding this tonsil but if only obstruction then only believe it otherwise i don't believe i believe only adenoidectomy basically and same one and half years of age uh, just after few hours and this is a smile face all peaks and sisudhir nagdai people there is a, uh, mention my name also in paper and the turbinoplasty also required this is another technique uh, my, with microdebrada sometimes in case of a young adult also big turbin is there that is also required treatment and also a uh, cold parectomy septos also gold standard test for evaluation of the nasal stuff is the nasal endoscopy on opd basis on opd basis not x ray or ct scan myth about adenoid this the all important point adenoid will vanish after few years no i have shown all categorically adenoid cell will reduce after nasal spray and montelukast this is also wrong i have mentioned and i have documented this after surgery adenoid will be not recurred no proper surgery will be required to without recurrence to maintain without recurrence because the if this this is the not a cancer tissue definitely but a residual is there definitely with allergy reaction or something i am not interested only doing adenoid definitely maybe there are allergy problem you ask the party first diagnose properly if obstruction correct the obstruction then treat the allergy then patient should be fantastically response all nasal stuffiness and cough are allergic origin this is the wrong concept this is a concept not a young 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 pediatrician no this is all a senior pediatrician that does not know 40 50 years previous thinking is there concept not changed totally all adenoid enlargement should be removed why small adenoid small type of adenoid a mouth breathing also this habit no the small adenoid not required but x ray adenoid is enlarged and also patients going to different different pediatrician or different ent surgeon some it is interested no just examine is properly so patients will be benefited not after seeing only endoscopy you will decide if your patients will be benefited if big adenoid is there if small adenoid only aller do allergy treatment or something else treatment you should do treatment also conservative if only allergy component is there conservative immunotherapy definitely a role of a ent surgeon surgical intervention to relieve the nasal obstruction only not giving the spray without knowing anything spray and allergy treatment okay definitely if you don't know you just uh, refer to the one ent surgeon who are able to diagnose properly and adenoid is there it surgical sinusoidal polyp sometimes is there and one interesting point one pediatrician famous pediatrician refer me the complicated uh, puro sinusoid is complicated sinus uh, pathology is there or by the cellulitis uh, i mentioned sir adenoid is there also sinusitis is there i no no don't do don't do adenoid only just remove i mentioned sir this is the all complex and due to adenoid but still does not believe that no 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 i don't know no no how well manage how will convince the that senior pediatrician also is very knowledgeable very authentic pediatrician knowledge too much knowledge but knowledge sometimes 1% or 2% about the nasal cavity so he is he is very master in pediatrics uh, masters of uh, pediatrics different syndrome different concept but knowledge is not so much like one ent surgeon he does every day endoscopy in nasal cavity so doing every day nasal uh, treatment 
So definitely more knowledgeable than a good pediatrician also. Every nasal sub corrects so through hyperdermic turbinate also. Offset is nasal tumor also I have seen a lot of nasal tumor also. So thanks, uh, thanks to my daughter, my inspiration. Thanks again for listening hearing. Again, I am telling, I am not interested to hurt anybody. I am interested to focus. This is totally, totally unaware of this system, unaware of this technique, unaware of this fact. Only we are mentioning only adenoides, only allergy, 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 allergy. And finally, the allergy test, allergy, lots of allergy, and eight are coming out of to life. Why this again? They are, they are, they are also in, in the, our world, they are able to breathe, if you They are odika, odika. They have right also to take breathing through the nose. Why? You are obstructing. Why? It's only with those proper diagnosis, they are suffering. Suffering not only kids, mother, father, every family member suffering. Please help, help that kid to breathe properly. Okay. Don't, don't treat only allergy. Definitely allergy will be there. But should no only allergy or something is there or something is there, no allergy. Okay. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello, I'm Hello, much emotional. I stop here. I will stop here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, no problem. Huh? Thank you, sir. Sir, yeah. thank you for that. Was actually a very indeed candid presentation I have seen uh, in many years of uh, our experience, sir. Uh, so, sir, we have one uh, few questions and few uh, answers to be answered, sir. So, Doctors uh, Sayan Hazra and Shaunak Mondal, uh, they are congratulating you for a presenting a very real life uh, scenario and uh, congratulating for you for giving Thank a really you. nice session. So, sir, uh, are there any contraindications before performing this uh, kind of coablation surgery to remove the adenoids, sir? No, basically no contraindication. Basically, if obstruction, obstruction then other is if yeah. with allergy problem, also you should uh, uh, ask the patient, there will be allergy problem, but you should correct the obstruction first. And definitely your symptom uh, also will be less. Not 100% removal if uh, allergy is there. Pale target. Sometimes allergy if you see. Yes. Then you ask. And no contraindication, no contraindication. Because sometimes uh, some doctors uh, thinking the contraindication in case of cleft palate. Uh, cleft palate basically. Mm. But if you if you, uh, if you you treat accordingly, mm. uh, then some days there is a chance of regurgitation. Okay. Also, but if you uh, palatal exercise, if you give the palatal exercise after a few days, because the so think if big big uh, obstruction is there, no regurgitation, okay, palatal weakness is there. But why the obstruction will be there? Because if obstruction, sometimes I have seen also clip patient ear ear discharge, ear pathology will be there. So you yeah. should correct adenoid also, and also uh, ask the party. Initially, there will be chance of regurgitation. Regurgitation, but mm -hmm. you should uh, uh, aware of the ballooning. Uh, basically, I, I ask the patient uh, just blow the balloon, balloon, and some exercise up within two months, it will be all it was absolutely normal. Okay, so said uh, okay, so as said, the cleft palate can be a tentative uh, contraindication for this surgery. So, sir, after performing this kind of population, do you see any kind of side effects uh, that the patients can be encountering, like halitosis or something, any other? That you have encountered? Yes, uh, definitely. Halitosis will be there because the, uh, my uh, my one uh, was the printed paper is there after operation. What is my adenoid? Uh, the very, very rare chance of infection uh, and bleeding, basically. Mm -hmm. Bleeding, secondary hemorrhage, very, very rare chance. Don't say some chance in case of adults, but in printing, it's very, very rare chance. Mm -hmm. But uh, smell, definitely. Because the, if uh, if you do the coagulation adenoidectomy, there will be slough, basically, slough, white slough will be there, thick secretion, mm -hmm. exudate will be there. If uh, if you put the knot uh, cleaning properly, basically, okay. uh, nasal saline, normal hypertonic saline, we do spray nasal drop and breathing exercise. Within a few a few days, uh, all smell will be gone, basically. And yes. after I have shown also, uh, within a uh, 20 day, one days, if you do endoscopy, the smooth cavity will be there. After yes. one month, there is a chance of smell. Acha, okay, okay. Answer, answer. Uh, that is a great answer, sir. So the uh, you have uh, rightly uh, 
मतलब हाईलाइटेड द प्रॉब्लम दैट लॉट ऑफ डायग्नोसिस इज गेटिंग मिस डायग्नोस बेसिकली एंड पीपल आर गेटिंग सो व्हाट आर द सो व्हाट आर बेसिकली द चैलेंजेस इन डायग्नोसिंग एंड मैनेजिंग नेजल स्टफीनेस और माउथ ब्रीथिंग एंड रिकरेंट कॉफ इन इन्फेंट्स व्हाट आर द चैलेंजेस दैट आर अपकमिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ व्हिच इट इज गेटिंग मिस डायग्नोस बेसिकली इट्स वेरी सिंपल इफ यू डू एंडोस्कोपी इफ यू सी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन मे बी देयर विल बी एलर्जी ओके बट इफ यू सी ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन then only you treat the allergy problem or without knowing the obstruction okay. it is totally wrong basically you should correct like example of the drain hmm. there is a tendency in muscular in sore leg but hmm. if your uh, house is drain is block you should clean the drain also there will be chance of a mosquito in sore leg also if you clean the drain but if you obstruct the drain to so 100% there is a mosquito so hmm. your your nose should be obstruction free so mouth breathing no mouth breathing so pre nasal breathing mm. so definitely obstruction will be less and symptom will be less if allergy also will be there still symptom is there because the one example because if we are normal not allergic mm. but still sometimes if you have cold mm. and cough sometimes there are a lot of sneezing will be there mm. yeah it's lot of sneezing because the obstruction at that time and mm. swollen nasal cavity swollen edematous that that time sneezing is there so if in case of children also the adenoid is the obstruction is there with allergies there all time suffering will be much more if you remove the if you remove the adenoid obstruction then suffering will be very very less mm-hmm. still allergy will be there mm-hmm. and also the comparison study if allergy and adenoid and one adenoid allergy or two if you remove the adenoid obstruction correction that patient suffering will be 100 to 10 and if uh, allergy and adenoid will be there to 100% suffering understand so 90% suffering will be reduced mm-hmm. understand that. so are there any specific subgroups or comorbidities in uh, children that are associated with higher likelihood of having this kind of uh, you know developing adenoids beyond allergies are there any subgroups or comorbidities in children definitely if if carcinoma lymphoma type of uh, case definitely you should diagnose properly there, there is a okay. lot of slim nodes in different area sometimes uh, you if you remove it uh, tonsil adenoid also huge adenoid huge tonsil sometimes with the lymphoma sometimes any uh, different type of carcinoma uh, lymph node carcinoma also this type of definitely i have seen but uh, mm-hmm. we know basically no if huge huge type we also peripheral smear we should do peripheral smear we should diagnose the lots of lymph node is there or not if small uh, two three lymph nodes that is due to adenoid infection but huge adenoid huge tonsil and huge lymph node that should consider about before starting surgery okay so last question for the uh, day sir can you discuss any potential psychological or emotional factors that can contribute to or exacerbate this nasal stuffiness mouth breathing or recurrent cough in children and how do you address this aspects in overall management plan so basically all family basically all are uh, today also i have mm. seen one uh, case uh, came from basically usa uh, tomorrow i will do uh, that case so in us also recurrent mm. ear infection not mention about the adenoid mm. the mention after uh, bromide myringotomy they have done myringotomy also but repeated mm. ear infection but not mention now it, now just before coming to india one uh, doctor mentioned maybe there will be the adenoid is there that the term uh, he knows only uh, today uh, we diagnose but not done endoscopy today we diagnose and uh, they are hairy basically so we do the tumors basically this social factor look here and they are totally sufferer the then uh, they thought sir why unnecessary no lots of time my children ear pain ear pain shorty every day shorty kasi we are fed up basically lots of kids every day coming out my chamber they are all are fed up psychologically mm-hmm. totally fed up basically Mm-hmm. if you correct they give the this type of achieve lots of kids basically uh, they you are change in my life uh, thank you sir uh, there is a change of life in my career with all doctors thank you so much because of breath free look here so one uh, every day we are not taking the breathing when i will give the breath uh, breathing mm-hmm. free life no and then imagine what is the uh, improvement life mm-hmm. i mentioned this is the suffering with suffering life and without suffering life new birth basically i will give you the new birth sir uh 
uh, what I wanted to ask is, is this kind of snoring of pediatrics is due to sleep apnea? Or is this a question from, uh, or just take it off? Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, pediatrics OS definitely sometimes is there. Mm -hmm. uh, snoring, uh, snoning means obstruction is there in pediatric yes. Yes. Because the, why? This is the, not muscle, muscle mm -hmm. uh, weakness is there in pediatric. In mm -hmm. snoring is there. So definitely obstruction is there. Not like adult. Adult is dynamic obstruction there. In pediatric group, snoring means obstruction. Okay. So 100% there will be obstruction. Otherwise, why? Pediatric muscle uh, strength will be there. No unnecessary one and if, if uh, this is a different uh, cerebral palsy, this is a different type of patient. That is a different. Mm -hmm. Other is downs, maybe sometimes snoring is there. But you should diagnose properly. The snoring means in periodic group, means there is obstruction. Mm -hmm. Very rightly said, sir. So thank you, sir. Uh, we, we from the Alkin Palbogay, sir. Thank you for associating with us and imparting this knowledge. I hope we have really upgraded and cleared the doubts of many ENT physicians and the pediatricians to have correct diagnosis of such uh, beautiful children that we have. And I hope uh, they can breathe more freely in coming future days. Thank you for our side, sir. We have almost 650 to 700 live attendees all over India. So it is a, a successful webinar just because of your knowledge that you have imparted, sir. Uh, so, sir, from Thank August, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for giving me this type of opportunity, basically. Basically, yeah. I, I, I am interested to show the basically in the world, basically. Yes. Why? Why unnecessary? Big, big prediction is very knowledgeable prediction, but mm -hmm. concern, not concerned about this type of problem. Mm -hmm. This would ever yes. also. Yes. I'm not against any your anti allergy product also. No, 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 no sir. Yes. Was, I'm yes. not okay, not interested. Basically, I'm interested to show the problem first. Yes. Diagnosis first and give the this also. No? Also, mm -hmm. they are uh, going to the prediction also, they treat, treat accordingly. But diagnosed properly before uh, stamped. This is the evaluation. This is the lupus. Lupus, whatever it is, you know. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Have a very well uh, good night, and thank you to all the attendees for making us uh, until now with us. Okay. So good night from Alkis Palmokar said until we meet next next time. Bye. Good night, sir.